Hi, my name's Daryl. Now I'm the owner of this beautiful 2020 Bikini Pearl Wrangler that you see behind me. Now I bought my Wrangler used and it came with a hard top, but the reason I purchased a Wrangler was, you know, to experience that kind of open air experience that everybody loves about Jeep Wranglers. And so one of the first things that I did was I took the top off. Now, <laughs> I live in Las Vegas. We don't get very much rain, but yeah, I went on a hike a couple of weeks ago up in the mountains and wouldn't you know it, it started raining and I'm talking seriously pouring and yeah, I didn't have a top on. So, <laughs> so I kind of decided, yeah, when I'm driving around in my Wrangler, I don't have the hard top on, I probably should invest in a soft top. So if I do get, you know, that surprise rainstorm, I can just close the top real quickly. So I've been doing a lot of research over the last couple of weeks on soft tops. And I basically just want to share, you know, kind of what I've learned. And um, if you are in the market for a soft top for your Wrangler, you know, maybe you bought a hard top like me and you really want to have a soft top for the summer, um, or maybe you want to re replace the soft top that you currently have. Well, this video is for you. So let's talk about the three types of soft tops that I'm going to talk about. The first one is your standard Wrangler soft top. And this is basically um, a typical convertible soft top that basically it can fold all the way down. So you can have that full open area experience. Now there's a lot of different man manufacturers that make these soft tops. Um, the one that comes with your Wrangler, uh, the OEM version, it's made by Mopar, and it's a really good soft top. So you've got the basic version uh, that comes standard. It's, I think, a vinyl material. Um, and then if you opt for the dual top group, you actually get an upgraded or premium version of the soft top, which is made out of twill material. And so the twill material is a little more durable than the vinyl, um, and it's also a little quieter, I think, on the road and might be a little more weather protectant than the basic version of the soft top but all in all it's a really good soft top now for more flexibility on your soft top you can look at other manufacturers of soft tops and probably the the best known brand of soft top is best top now best top actually manufactured the OEM version of soft tops for the Wranglers. And they did this up until, I think, 2018. So when the new generation of JL Wrangler came out, then for some reason, um, Best Top no longer manufactures that anymore. So I think Mopar does, or maybe Mopar um, third party has some other person or some other company that manufactures the product. I'm not exactly sure. Um, and I actually thought they still made it, but I was talking to Best Top last week, and they're like, yeah, we don't, <laughs> we don't make the soft tops for the Wranglers anymore, um, at least the OEM version. So yeah, I don't know if you know that, so you know, that's some interesting tidbit of, of information. But one of the benefits of purchasing a Best Top soft top is you get more options. So, um, you know, with the Mopar soft top, you basically just get the basic version or the premium version, but you can only get the premium version if you purchase it uh, separately um, or if you get the dual top group. If you buy a best top soft top, um, they have a bunch of different versions of soft tops. So, um, they make one similar um, to the OEM version of the Wrangler soft top that has that boxy kind of appearance that um, is similar to the hard top and it also folds all the way back. Um, pretty much both soft tops um, function similarly. So both of them will have that Sunrider functionality. So if you really quickly want to take that top and you want to fold it back, um, to have that open air experience really quickly without actually taking the soft top totally down or fold it all the way down, you can do that. So both the uh, OEM version and the best top version does that. Now, the other thing that is, I guess, uh, uh, a benefit of going with the best top is they have um, cheaper versions of the top. So I talked about the standard version, which is the, the soft top that folds down, but you also have a different version of the soft top that 
isn't really a convertible, so it doesn't fold all the way back, but it's a soft top. It's made of, you know, the soft material, um, but it has Sunrider functionality built into it. Um, so you can uh, kind of use it as a, as, you know, as, as a sunscreen where you can open that, that top up, but you can also take out the windows. So you can take out uh, the back windows and the side windows and have that really cool um, kind of open air experience while still, you know, kind of having the soft top over your head providing you shade. So the major benefit of going with that more basic soft top made by Best Top is it's a lot cheaper. So um, I think the premium version of their soft tops usually run about $2,500. Um, and the basic version, the one that doesn't fold all the way back, um, that'll cost you about $1,000. So it's a lot cheaper. So if you don't actually see yourself folding that top all the way back, um, you know, and you want to have something over your head all the time to provide a little bit of shade, well, you know, the best top, that um, cheaper version might actually be for you. Now, the other version of the best top soft top is they make this um, kind of fastback version, um, which is gives the Wrangler like a real sporty appearance. Um, and they offer this in the premium version as well as the basic version that um, doesn't fold all the way back. But one of the other benefits of the, the fast top of, or the fastback soft top, other than just looking really cool, is that it also serves as kind of a really, really good bikini top. So I'm gonna talk about bikini tops in a little bit, which basically is a sunshade for your Wrangler um, as you're driving down the road. But with this bikini top, because it actually uses the door surrounds um, that come with the soft top, you know, it really protects you um, from both the wind and also the rain. And so, yeah, this, this Trek top, uh, which is the fastback soft top, it's a really cool look when you actually take out the windows um, and you just run it in that um, kind of safari open air experience. It's really cool. And it's one of the um, actually soft tops that I was really considering. Um, now, I am gonna kind of talk about the, um, uh, the sunshades or the bikini tops, um, but most of them have, uh, you know, it protects you a little bit from the wind and the rain, but for the most part, it, it doesn't do a great job. But, you know, you get the flappiness of the, um, of the shade itself, whether it's a perforated kind of material or whether it's full vinyl and full coverage. But pretty much all of them, you're going to have a little flappiness in the, in, in, in the actual shade itself. But with um, the best top, with the door surrounds and with it actually being a real convertible top, all, all that flappiness and the protection from the wind it's, it's really going to be a great option um, for those of you that want a soft top but also want to use it as a bikini top. So both the Mopar top as well as the Best top, um, they perform basically very similarly as far as functionality, as far as the performance of the top, as far as protection from the wind and the rain. Um, they both do a really great job. Um, and they're priced about the same as well. Sometimes um, one of the prices of the Mopar when they go on sale, it might be a little bit less, and then sometimes the Best Top might be a little bit less, but they're gonna sell for about the same price. But with the Best Top, you do get um, the additional selection of different times types of tops, and you also get the cheaper version of the tops, the ones that don't fold all the way down, um, so that can save you a lot of money. Now, the other big differences in the tops is the installation. So, with the Mopar soft top, um, it comes with the frame pre-installed um, on the soft top. And so installing that soft top on your Wrangler, it actually is relatively easy and doesn't take much time. So typically less than an hour, you can get that soft top installed, um, the Mopar soft top. With the best top, uh, there's a lot more parts involved. Um, you get a lot more screw, screws. Um, the frame isn't built into the material, and so you have to put these bows in place and then wrap the, um, the soft top material around the bows and kind of screw everything in. Um, it requires more tools with the Mopar soft top. All you need is your Jeep toolkit in order to do the install. Um, with the best top, you're going to need more tools to actually do the install. Um, so for sure, the installation of the Mopar top, soft top is easier, as well as uninstalling the soft top and switching out to like your hard top. That's also going to be a little bit easier on the Mopar soft top as opposed to the best top soft top. Um, 
you know, but once you got it installed, you know, it takes you a little bit extra. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily dis dissuade you from choosing the best top um, because I think uninstalling after you've actually got it installed isn't too bad. Um, but if you want different options, best top is certainly the way to go. So the last top I want to talk about is a bikini top. Now this is a top, it's soft material. Um, I don't know if you necessarily could call it a replacement for your hardtop that you would run full time um, because it doesn't do a great job of necessarily protecting you from the wind and from the rain. Um, but maybe if you just decide, kind of like me, that you were only going to use it you know, when there wasn't a chance of rain, but then you get caught in the rain, you might be in trouble. Um, but basically this will typically, it's usually made of mesh material, so you've got a more of a see-through material, or it could be made of vinyl, which provides full coverage for the sun. But basically it sits over, um, typically the driver and the passenger. Usually it secures to the roll bars or the sport bars. Um, so uh, it doesn't actually go to the door surround, so you still have a little bit of a gap there. Um, and um, if you're getting the ones that typically secure with the bungee cords, like the uh, Alien, Alien Sunshade, as well as the Spiderweb Sunshade, um, those ones actually, um, they actually leave a little bit of a gap um, between the material, the perforated material, um, and the sport bar. And so you actually get a couple of gaps there. Um, I actually bought the Alien Sunshade and I found it just didn't do enough protecting me from the wind. Um, so I really liked the product. Um, it was really nice and tight. It was a really great fit, but it just didn't do a great job of protecting me from the wind at freeway speeds. And so I ended up returning it. So typically they will connect um, to the sports bar um, with bungees, but also you get um, other types of bikini tops. And usually these are more of the vinyl tops. Um, and they'll often connect to the sports bar with some sort of a strap um, or Velcro kind of, a, kind of a, a solution to kind of secure it in place. Um, but I've seen most of the time those um, particular sunshades or bikini tops, they tend to do a lot more flapping too. Um, so you get a lot of flapping noise and you get a lot of open um, as you're driving around. And I really don't, you know, I really don't want that in my Wrangler. I want to really enjoy kind of the open air, but without having all of the wind. So yeah, I'm kind of a hard customer to please. So I've really also been doing a lot of research on kind of sunshade or bikini tops, um, because even though I'm probably going to get a soft top, I'll probably also have some sort of a bikini top underneath that. So when I do have the soft top open, I still want some sort of a protection um, from some of the wind and, and, the, um, and the sun. So I've been doing a lot of research. I, like I said, I got the Alien Sunshade and I returned it. Um, I just bought the Mopar Sunbonnet though. And I had, there were some bad reviews on the Mopar product um, back in 2018, I think when it was first released, but they've had a number of revisions done to the product. And this is really interesting. It's got that perforated material, so it's got the see-through material. But then on all of the corners um, and all the way around that material, it's got vinyl material that actually wraps around the sports bar and it's got these buttons um, that connect um, basically to, um, you um, take out like the Torx, I think the Torx 40 bolts, and then you put um, these things um, replacing those bolts uh, in there, and then you secure them with these buttons. Um, and then it also uses straps. Um, it's got a header that goes underneath the windshield. Um, so it looks really secure. Um, I don't think you're going to get a whole lot of flapping with it. Um, and you're also going to get the benefit of kind of being able to see the sky too. So I've got a lot of hopes for this product. Um, I'll re be reviewing it when I get it um, and showing the install as well. So yeah, hopefully that works out pretty, pretty good. So the one thing that I found out about that I don't know if all owners of Jeep Wranglers know about this is you can actually use the freedom panels as kind of a bikini sunshade. So for instance, I have, you know, my hard top off, right? Um, currently I have my freedom panels off, but I can actually take the freedom panels and I can put them in place and secure them um, with, the, with the twist knobs. And so let me show you what that looks like. All right, so this is what it looks like basically when you have um, the freedom panels basically as um, kind of a bikini sunshade. 
And um, yeah, it looks a little funky kind of at the rear there. So it looks a little bit unfinished, but I think in general, you know, Wranglers always kind of look <laughs> um, a little bit unfinished. Um, but, um, you know, it does protect you really well, right? So, you know, it's using, of course, the um, surrounds. And so um, you're not gonna have any wind coming in from the sides. And then basically um, everything is secure. So you're still um, using, you're still doing this latch and you're securing this right here, this latch, and you're also securing the back latch right here. The only one isn't secure is this side latch um, that would typically connect um, basically to the to the hard top. But yeah, like I said, the owner's manual um, says that you can actually run it like this and I've had no problems at all. And yeah, this does a really good job of protecting you from the sun um, <laughs> and the wind. Um, but if it rains, yeah, your back um, of, the, um, of the Wrangler is gonna get pretty wet. But ultimately, you know, I really, I liked what job this does in protecting me from um, the sun and the wind. Um, I wouldn't mind a little bit of sun coming in because I really enjoy that. Um, I want a little bit more of that open air experience that I can get uh, with some sort of a top that, you know, is perforated. Um, but I'm hoping to get a top that's perforated, but also um, will protect me from the wind. So we'll see if I can find something. So if you are a manufacturer of a bikini top um, or a sunshade that kind of does what I'd like it to do, yeah, please reach out to me and let me know because I've been trying to find the perfect sunshade as well as the um, really good soft top. Um, so yeah, I'd like to hear from you. So after all the research that I did, you're kind of probably wondering which soft top that I decided to try to find. And yeah, I'm basically gonna go with the OEM Mopar soft top. Um, and I really like the best top one. I actually like just the one that was, um, the one that didn't fold back as a convertible top. Um, but ultimately those fastback tops, um, we're gonna use a convertible top a lot when we go out camping. Um, so we've got dogs and we pull a little trailer. And yeah, I just don't want it, didn't wanna sacrifice all that cargo space with that fastback soft top. And so that's basically why I decided uh, not to go that direction. Um, but I'm gonna be trying to find a used one. So one of the things that you'll find is that a lot of Wrangler owners, when they purchase a Wrangler, you know, they're gonna add a whole bunch of different accessories. They're gonna finance it. You know, what's an extra $1,000 here, $1,000 there? So um, a lot of times they'll order that dual top group, which comes with both the hard top and the soft top. And it comes with a hard top and then you get the soft top basically in the back of your Wrangler in a big box. And I think oftentimes owners are pretty happy with that hard top. And they take that, you know, soft top in that big box and they put it in their garage and they just leave it there and never end up using it. Or maybe they look at the installation instructions and maybe it seems a little difficult and they just don't want to deal with it. Uh, they don't want to deal with having to take that hard top off. And yeah, so then they just sell it. Um, so that's what I'm going to be basically be looking for is a used uh, Mopar soft top. So I'm going to be talking about my search process. I'm going to be talking about things that you can do um, to help avoid getting scammed. And also, you know, be very, uh, I'm going to provide information so that you're familiar with all the parts that you should be getting. And so if you do get a Mopar soft top, you know, have a little checklist of the items um, that you should be expecting to be in that box. Um, so that you make sure when you get home that you can actually install it and you don't get any surprises. So if you learned something in this video um, or just enjoyed it, um, please like the video and also consider subscribing to my channel. I do a whole lot of content and it's really focused around brand new Wrangler owners. Um, I'm a brand new Wrangler owner myself and as I you know, try different products and purchase accessories and do modifications. You know, I'm gonna share the experience, I'm gonna share the research, and I'm gonna share, you know, what I've learned. And um, hope to see you in the next one again very soon.